Zaki and I are at the shopping center. The montage. Oh, yeah! I've got a whole lot of other echeveras that I have to plant, so without further ado, it's time to plant. Sometime in the last month, I bought a new freely and it was called uh, an echeveria blue butterfly. I'm pretty sure I don't have one of that name in my collection yet, so I decided why not. And since I can't trust the soil mix that they come with, I'm going to replace this. It's been over a week since I chopped up the afterglow and the barbellion, so I think it's about time I planted them in soil.
I managed to pick off two items from my list, but unfortunately, it's never that simple. I have a huge backlog to go through. I have a bunch of Afterglow Pops that have recently rooted, and I think it's about time I planted them. So I went to my planters, picked up the biggest one, filled it up with soil, and got ready. I wonder if all of the pops would fit. The base soil that I'm using contains too much wood chips, so I'm going to add a little layer of premium cactus mix. Just a little layer will do, because things are expensive. The great thing about this mix is that they already contain controlled release fertilizers. It saves me the trouble of mixing my own. Now that I've got the top layer, it's time to get planting. With this configuration, these are all the afterglows that I could fit. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 times 2, 14. There are 14 pops here. But as you can see, they are all spread out because they haven't been getting enough sun and they would be going compact anyway. So what I'm thinking is I could plant them a bit closer. That way I could fit the, the five more pups that I have here. There you have it, 19 pops in all, and they have all fit inside this planter. But wait, there's more. I'm not sure if you remember this, but this is the original stock where the pops came from. And I left a few more pops in here, because they were too small. From what I can see, there are one, two, three, four, and five. There are five more pops here. And I, I should probably just stick them between the gaps in the planter. There's a few more left in the stock and I think I would rather let them grow a bit more before I think of relocating them. Look at Mama Afterglow. It looks so happy getting a bit of sun. And I think it's about time I replanted these pups, especially the Agavoides. Because I removed them several episodes ago. I prepared another batch. Most of the pops I have here are Agavoides, so I guess I'll start off with the Agavoides here, then fill up the rest of the space with, with whatever else I have. As you can see, I'm grouping them by type. That way I won't be confused because there's a lot of them. So far I've got the Agavoides lipstick, it's our Agavoides Mira. And what I'm holding now is an Agavoides Martin. I'm just looking for the rest of the Martins. Because I remember picking more than one. Too bad I can't find them. So let's move over to the next. This is a Sagita. It's grown quite a lot of fruits already. There's a few sagita in here. I found them, although I had to cheat a bit because I just freshly plucked this from the parent plants. 
they're quite big now though even bigger than this one I'm just going to remove their leaves and I'll include them in this planter there's still a bit of space so maybe the non-agaboides could share problem is these guys are mixed up, so I'm not sure which cultivars they are anymore. Some of them should be Curly Lux, and some of them should be Domingo. Hard to tell which is which right now, because they are, they are a bit etiolated. Yeah, I think this one is Domingo. Just so you know, clumping them like this is not ideal, because it stunts their growth a bit. But I'm keeping them this way, just so their roots do not dry out. I'm going to move them to separate pots in the near future anyway. As for the leaves of the marten, I'm just going to dump them somewhere in one of the trays. And here you go. It looks like I finally finished my backlog of repotting. But like how it usually goes in my garden, this is not the end of it. There's going to be a lot more pops to harvest soon. Summer is their growing season. So my echeveres are busy putting out pops and their pops are growing rapidly. At some point within the next few months, I would have to go on another harvesting spree again. for our first ever <laughs> shout out <laughs> thank you for supporting us on patreon <laughs> this is our way of saying thank you to our to our patreon supporters we're going to give a shout out to oscarino <laughs> thank you oscarino We'll see you in the next episode! <laughs> <laughs>